We just took this old, wore out, distressed, rusty, filled with staples <laughs> frame and turned it into this, a DIY home sweet home farmhouse sign. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do a build or make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, we're getting into a little bit of a reuse, a recycle, repurpose. One of our Make It Fam folks from the farmer's market came by and was purchasing a sign and was like, oh, I have this frame. This frame, you should really use this frame. You guys are gonna love it. I don't have anything to do with it. I have nothing to do with it. You guys should come by and get it. You should really use it. I know you could do something cool with it. So then we got this frame <laughs> and it is rough looking. I didn't realize how rough looking this frame was gonna be. It's got some staples on the outside. Yeah. It's got some fencing stapled to the backside and it's got some dirt on it over here where I think it sat outside for a while. But you know what? I it told Garrett, it's good. yeah, I think we could do something cool with it. So that's our project this week is we're gonna turn this into something fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed the frame because that's what we're doing. We're redoing the frame. And then we needed something for the backer. So we found these woodland wall peel and stick wood planks on clearance. So we thought these would be great for the backer. We're gonna just nail them in there. We needed some MDF. We decided to put a saying in there and like an overlay. Yeah, you'll so. see, we're gonna add some um, dimension to the corners, you'll see. I also needed some wood glue and my brad nailer. So we can nail the planks on. And then I'll be using a couple of these country chic paints. We're gonna do a two-tone, we're gonna do a distressing technique. We're gonna, this is the new country chic paint color in Tide Pool. It's a really pretty blue. And then we're gonna put cheesecake over top of it and do a little distressing so you can see the color through it. And then of course, it's a little bit of sandpaper because we gotta do some cleanup on this thing before we get started. Before it starts its makeover. <laughs> extreme makeover. Yeah, it is gonna be an extreme makeover. Step two, we're gonna clean up the frame and see what we got. Let's see what we're actually working with. We're gonna remove all of these little staples. So we're gonna use some uh, needle nose, flathead screwdriver. We're gonna remove all these staples around the outside. Around the outside. <laughs> I know two trailer park girls is coming any second. <laughs> you can have it for me. I think this is gonna be the most tedious part right here. Is getting all I these, think it is. All these staples out. Oh, not too bad. Oh, yeah, there you go. One of us needs. One of us is going to need a tent <laughs> before, we, <laughs> before we finish this project. Whoa! No way! Did it really hit you in the eye? It hit me right here. <laughs> Man, that could have been bad. Yeah, the safety, safety first. We're gonna give it a quick sand, see what we got underneath. Just mainly to knock the dirt off, and that's really it, to knock the dirt off. I don't wanna kinda, I wanna keep some of the raised pieces. All right, well, we'll see. I told him we should wash it with some Dawn, maybe, and some soap and water, but we're gonna start with this and see how far, see how it does. Yeah, no, 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 watch it, there's a nail, it's so weird. I decided this was too dirty for just a sand. It looked like we were just sanding in the dirt. So I decided to get a little bucket of warm water and some Dawn dish detergent and using one of these green scour pads to just kind of wipe off the dirt, 
scrub it with the scour pad side, hit it with the sponge, and then Garrett went back and wiped it down. And I think that's brightened it up a little. You can tell it's cleaner. I want to keep the distressing paint look, but I don't want it to be dirty. Step three, we're gonna make all of our cuts. I'm just gonna take this quarter inch MDF over to the glue forge using the thick draft board settings and cut out our words and our little overlay that's gonna go over it. Kim found this thing in Hobby Lobby and we decided to try to use this frame to copy it. Yes, I saw this frame in Hobby Lobby. It was really cute, it said home sweet home and I just knew that we could replicate that look with this frame. I mean, we have the frame so I had Garrett go look for some corbel silhouette images and then he made them into SVGs and so we're gonna cut those and we're gonna add those on top of our backer as inlays inside this frame. We'll show you what we're talking about. <laughs> And now we paint. <laughs> We're gonna use our new country sheet color in Tide Pool, this blue. And we're gonna put a coat of this on top of the frame and our corner accents. Here's one of the corner accents. Yep. We made four of them. And they should piece back together inside the frame. Yep, all we have to do is size it to the inside of our frame. So we'll make these as an SVG and available in our store. You can resize them to any frame that you guys have. This was super easy. It was just Magnolia Sky as our font and the typewriter font for Home Sweet Home. So, or Sweet Home. <laughs> yeah, Sweet Home. <laughs> All right, let's give it its top, its first coat. Base. Base coat, base coat. pool is dry now it's time to add our cheesecake <laughs> we're just going to come in with a thick coat or a thin coat regular coat a regular good coat all right a regular good coat yes of vanilla frosting no cheesecake 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 i see you got food on the brain speaking of food on the brain oh yeah <laughs> that's all you tried to do during the during the paint dry yeah. session garrett said now they'll know why you're married to me <laughs> So while we were letting our paint dry, I went down to get some lunch and I was gonna have this bowl of chili, but I couldn't find a spoon. So I used this slotted spoon that was down there. It only had tiny little holes. Chili's thick, I thought it would be okay. But no, I have chili all over the front of my shirt now. So guess what? Can't oh, eat. you still got that shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> Old chili shirt. Yeah. Can't eat chili with a slotted spoon. Heard that tip for me. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna distress it, but we're gonna distress it with rags. No sanding needed. Right, so I was going to share that, Garrett stole my thunder here. <laughs> that typically we use sandpaper to distress and get down to the second color. But this paint has dried for just about 30 minutes, so it's just barely dry to the touch. And you use this damp rag and you'll rub a little bit and you'll rub right down to the blue paint. Oh, and yeah. that way it leaves the blue paint, but you don't sand off the blue paint. Well, I like that a lot better than the sanding. Well, let's see. Let's see how, how it does. Since this chalk paint is so fresh, it's easy to just rub through that top layer and really expose that second layer. And this is great with all kinds of color combinations and works well not only on this wood, but also on this MDF. We painted it first with the Tide Pool and then added cheesecake and rubbed it off. It works fantastically for both. Step five, and now we assemble it. We're gonna bring it all together, starting with the back. We're gonna flip it over. So that's the top, right? 
I need that board over there. So these do not have any grooves in them, so they'll just sit side by side. All right, I'll take them off and glue them then. <laughs> We're just gonna glue it and then tack it down with a three quarter inch brad. The nail, not the guy. So pretty. Can you guys see? It looks so pretty. We found this frame isn't quite square. We're gonna make it work. Alright, let's glue these three sides in. You sure you didn't want to sand that first? Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to sand it now. Well, it's got glue on it? Uh, that's the best time to do it. <laughs> do it when you glue it. What do you think? Came out great. It looks uh, way better than I thought it would. Yeah, I'm so impressed. This thing, you would never know this is the frame that we started with. As dirty as it was with whatever kind of metal fencing that was in there. Yeah. That, we took it out and made it into a piece of wall art. That is a definite piece of wall art now. A little bit of paint and uh, some planks. But it's not too heavy. No, no. Not heavy at all. So, I like the rubbing technique, and I thought it was way less dusty. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah than Normally, uh, trying yeah. to sand it. Usually, it's so dusty. Like, uh... Yeah, I'm just going to say, you need to go on countrychicpaint dot, well, dot com, but really on their YouTube channel, they have so many paint tutorials and paint techniques. This, I was looking for something else when I came across this, and I was like, oh! She's just rubbing off the chalk paint before it cures all the way. And so I had to show you guys this new paint tech, this distressing technique, because it looks great. I mean, you don't get past the first color and yeah. you really can showcase that color underneath. Yeah, I, I like it a lot. Really makes it pop. It does give it a pop. Like this one, I did try, so we could have done some really cool poppy colors with this, but because I'm going to try and sell it, I tried to keep it kind of neutral so it fits in any home decor. But I have seen, if you look on their site, countrysheekpaint.com, they'll show you lots of different colors. Like I saw um, black over a hot pink. Oh. Yeah, that was really cool looking that when they distressed cool. it. Yeah, but I can't really do that with we'll this. We'll have to do it with something now. Yeah, yeah, I think it would look really cool. Put it in one of the girls' rooms. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they definitely. would love it. Their teens would love that. Yeah, that'd be cool to do. Big thank you to our patrons. We love you guys. And if. Uh, you're not joining us for the patient <laughs> after show. We are about out of time, so we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. Oh, I got it. No. That. Yeah, 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 totally. Oh I got god. it. Look. Oh my god. Look, look. Boom. I hate this. I hate this dumb game. I hate this dumb game. That's so impressive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm out.